Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And I just finished watching the Apple keynote, and I wanted to push this info out to you guys as soon as possible. So all carriers, AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, and Verizon, are going to carry the new iPhones with Gigabit Class LTE. That includes the iPhone XS and the iPhone XS Max. Also, one more thing. T-Mobile already announced, this came from John Legere's Twitter, the new iPhones are going to carry 600 megahertz extended range LTE. That includes the iPhone XS, the iPhone XS Max, and the iPhone XR. All three of those models are going to carry 600 megahertz extended range LTE on T-Mobile's network. Now, one thing I do want to point out the Gigabit Class LTE speeds are going to only be included on the 10XS and the 10XS Max. The 10XR is not going to have Gigabit Class LTE. It will only have LTE advanced features. So that is the only downside to the 10XR. It is going to have an LCD panel as well. But on that device, pretty much everything else, the A12 chip, the camera is going to be very similar, if not identical, to the 10XS and the 10XS Max. So I just wanted to bring this info out to you guys as soon as possible for those of you who, who weren't able to watch the event. That way you can just tune in really quickly, get this info. So this is big for T-Mobile, pretty much big for all carriers, to be honest. This is going to inc increase speeds on all third-party testing firms, uh, Ookla, OpenSignal, most of carriers have a very, very large base of iPhone users. Some are 45% and up of their base uses iPhones. So this Gigabit Class LTE is going to increase speeds on root metrics, on any testing platform that you can think of. It is going to increase uh, speeds. Of course, that is not official yet. This is just my prediction, but I think that is what's going to happen. So definitely leave all your comments in the comment section down below. If you're going to get this new iPhone, it is going to be quite a bit expensive, especially the Max version. It starts at $1,099. So I will be uh, trying to uh, get into an iPhone as well, just to test out the new technologies and how good the cellular performance is. That is something that Apple has always lacked, even when they had a better cellular performing phone something was always wrong it was the antennas or something so i will be testing that out and looking for which carrier is going to offer the best deals on this phone so definitely stay tuned to the channel make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified when i upload content this is tyrone with tech life and i will see you guys in the next video peace